Scott not following the rental property rules. The property owner is fed up and ready to kick her out. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought it would be funny to have the no pets rule, but she still had a pet. I was not trying to actually get evicted. So soul simmers, welcome back to another episode of the Nectar Empire Let's Play. Today, I'm excited because I actually have more rent. So Angelica officially lives in a functioning apartment building. Let's take a look. Okay, y'all, so I converted this to a functioning residential rental. So as you can see, we have two units at the bottom and then two units at the top, one of which Angelica lives at. I did make a video where I converted this building to a residential rental, which more or less applies the changes that I did here. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out on my channel. Um, but yeah, I also made her roommate. Remember when she had a roommate that was supposed to be like her neighbor? I actually did make her a neighbor in this building. So I imagine that we will see them around. Let me show you what I've done to this build. So this is the build now. I went in and added like a community neighbor space where there is an easel. We've got a little bird feeder out here. I added some planter boxes so we can have kind of like a neighbor garden thing and a grill and some places to sit outside. So yeah, so I think this space is like really cute and I'm hoping that we will see people out here um, more often. And then yeah, Angelica's spot is still the same. Oh, and you know what else I did? I think I talked about this in the last video. I converted this side to a functioning apartment building. So before this was a debug building, and but I went through and I actually converted it to make it a real building. So there's now not only the neighbor downstairs, but we have two families in these homes as well. So yeah, so I just saw a pop-up that said that we have a tenant rule violation already. We are not supposed to have pets. Just something I did on purpose because I thought that would be funny. We gotta deal with that. Also. Her rent is expensive. Can, can Are we able to check that? Let me see. Oh, I think I, let me check it here. Yeah, so her rent is 274 uh, simoleons a day. It is Sunday, so I think that we're good now. But since Bob Pancakes is here, Bob Pancakes and Eliza Pancakes are actually our landlord. So I'm going to do a cheerful introduction and then maybe we'll pay that fine and we'll ask him to like go easy on us. Oh, also in the basement, I added some laundry. So now we have laundry. I added a functioning water heater and well, I can, I can zoom in. I added a functioning water heater and I added a functioning electrical box. So there may be issues that pop up with that. That's basically, that's the only changes I made. I also did not bother to do like storage units for like storage units for the neighbors. Maybe I'll change my mind at some point, but right now that this is all I was willing to do, which is a lot. So yeah, so she was supposed to meet Bob Pancakes and I think she did. And can I pay my fine? He's gone. How about this? Let's see how long we can last without paying the fine. <laughs> Okay, so, oh my gosh, the first thing I gotta do, actually, is we gotta change Angelica's traits. We finally have enough points to get rid of the high maintenance trait. I feel like this has been a full year in the making almost, like in real life. And I cannot believe I'm finally at the point where I can buy the retraining potion. Like that is, oh my God. We'll have 300 points left and I don't even care. I don't even care, okay. Whoa, look at that, look at that. It just pops up. That's so interesting. That's not what I, what I thought that was gonna be. Okay, so first of all, can we change this? No, we can't. I didn't want to, I just was curious. After much internal debate, I have decided to replace high maintenance with cringe. Cause I feel like if she's a goofball and she's outgoing, I feel like the natural conclusion to that means she's probably a little cringe too. So now she has taken Oh, I guess she's taking the retrading potion. Now let's see. Did it change her other earned traits? Oh, it did. That's interesting. So she earns like the foodie trait and something else. But because I took the retrading potion, it got rid of that. So we'll have to start from scratch with that and also somehow figure out how to re-earn the foodie trait. But let's go over here and talk to some neighbors. Now that we've got neighbors. Oh, Eliza's here to discuss vi violations of the tenant agreement. Girl. Let's, uh, again, let's just ignore that for a little bit. <laughs> let's see how long we can get away with it. Yeah, men's calling to chat, sure. So yeah, so I'm just coming out here to chat with people. She though is chatting with her sister, which is a choice um, when I wanted her to really come over here and chat. Can I add birdseed? Why not? Let's be outside. It is outside. I think that the game thinks that this might be inside because it's undercover technically, because I think, yeah, I think the roof sticks out. Let's see if, if it counts here. What about now? Yeah, see? <laughs> I have 
I've never, <laughs> I've never done that interaction before. Eviction avoided. They really didn't like that she has the cat, even though I'm the one who made that rule technically. Okay, okay, you know what? Once again, people are coming in my house doing the absolute most. So I'm gonna do a cheerful introduction with my other landlord, and then we're gonna woo her into getting rid of that rule, because that's an option. Everybody's coming to my house. I'm I'm already agitated. Everyone's got their own house they could be at. What is, what's happening right now? You're doing fruitcake? Is a welcome wagon coming to my house? I've lived here. Oh, I ended up, I had to move Angelica out and then remove her back in in order to make the apartment function. So now I think there's a welcome wagon coming to, I don't know, introduce me to the ways of this neighborhood, which she's been living here forever, but the game now doesn't realize that. Oh, we got a cringe lesson. She's easily amused and loves to share horrifying puns, inappropriate memes, and other out of date dances that they've seen. She excels at comedy, mischief, and video gaming. Yep, sure. Very playful. Nah, bro. Nah, I'm good. Matter of fact, how about all y'all? All y'all need to leave. All y'all go home. Go home, go home, go home. And then it's time for you to come calm down because I can't have you dying again. I really just can't. Oh, and Angelica goes to work in an hour. Perfect. Okay, so as far as her aspiration is concerned, I've got 29 more excellent bottles of nectar to make as well as, I don't know, 98,000 simoleons more to earn from nectar making. Oh my God, somebody just came into my house. Somebody just came into my house and knocked on the inside. Do I have this door the wrong way? No, go away. So when I come back, I think I will figure that out. Also, can you go home, please? Send home. Who are you? Get out of here. Why are you here? Oh my gosh, I can't send him home. I don't know why he's in my apartment right now. Get out. I thought that having neighbors would mean that they would stop just coming in my house. Also, how close is she to a promotion? She's pretty close. Okay, so she's home and I don't know, she's bored from boring work, okay? So why don't you come over here? Can you prep some ingredients? You don't really have anything to prep ingredients. Hmm. You know what? Oh, it's already 11 o'clock at night. Never mind. I was going to say maybe we can go to the store or something, but she doesn't even go to the store. Okay, the cat I'm noticing is leaving the house right now. Where are you going right now? She had a little Angelica thought bubble. So I'm just curious where this is going to go. Oh my God. Yeah, she needs some attention. All right, so they, they're having a cute little bonding moment, but... We're gonna have her use the bathroom. Then after that, we can have Angelica make some dinner. You know what else? She needs a new Instapot. Actually, she needs a whole just general redo of her living room. Like I'm thinking she needs new couches, a new TV. Maybe we can do some of that. She has thousands of simoleons and yet she's still living in this like dated living room. She's come a long way. She's almost at the top of her career. Let's get rid of all this. Okay, right now I'm making edits to this unit. I can't make edits to any of the other units. So she had the basement treasures couch before. I like this one. This one looks like fluffy and comfortable and like kind of trendy right now. So we'll do this. And then we can do either like a love seat or a chair like I had before. Ooh, this one from Pastel Pop Kit is cute. I like that. And then if we go to rugs, what do we have for rugs? This is one of the new rugs. I like this one. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's change the color of the chair to there. So it kind of like matches better. Oh, I love these modern luxe curtains. We could do the navy or pink. I like the pink. Okay, so now for the TV situation, I think I want to use the frame TV. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And then what are the swatches we have? We can have that one. Maybe we'll go with this one because a lot of the frames that I have in here are white on this wall. And I wonder if we can add some like built-ins. Okay, hopefully the landlord won't mind us putting holes in the wall to add our little storage cabinet. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this bookshelf from Growing Together and I can put her books on here. I mean, maybe it's time to get rid of her little school binders and stuff because I was keeping it, but now like, Maybe she got rid of it and I'm gonna get rid of this too. And now without a table right there, there's actually more room for her maybe to do some yoga in front of the window, which could be nice. Okay, I can put her workout stuff here and it looks like she has like a second yoga mat and a little kettle ball. And yeah, I think that's the gist of what I wanted to do. I think the last thing I will do is get a new and is get the new Instapot. I need to do a recolor on this because I'd recolored the other stuff. She doesn't have enough counter space for this. Maybe she doesn't have enough counter space. No, she does need, she needs one of those kettles. So we will get a kettle and then that can just be here. Okay, cute. I think I'm happy with this in general. 
I just did a quick little refresh of the stuff that she has in her apartment. So I've got a new bookcase. Okay, so I've got a new bookcase. I moved where her yoga mat will be. So it's in front of the window. We changed out her curtains, the couch, the chair, a new rug, changed out the coffee table. And then we updated what was happening over here with her television area. Cause I was like, girl, you got money. And money is made for spending cause you can't take it with you. Look at her, she's happy. What's she happy from? Look at this, homie, lot trades. Yep, she feels right at home with all her new stuff. <laughs> I'm also gonna set the sink type here to kitchen. And we're gonna set the sink type here to bathroom. Actually, more importantly, I don't even care that if this one's kitchen, I just wanna make sure she's not washing her dishes in that other sink. So I've set it to bathroom. So we'll see how that update works. I'm really excited for her to actually use the kitchen sink for kitchen stuff. After she eats, I'm gonna have her go to bed. And then I'm thinking we probably need to get right back on our grind when it comes to dating, when she's not nectar making. Ooh, oh, she actually sat and ate at the table. That's crazy. Crazy because they usually do anything but what we actually expect them to do. Okay, so she's having a good time. She's eating. Whoa, whoa. Are you seeing this right now? She is taking her plate all the way down here to wash the dishes. Okay, she went all the way downstairs to wash dishes and I'm pissed. First of all, no. We'll set this to a bathroom sink and see if that helps. It's like the minute I start believing in Sims again, they they do something else. Why would you come down three, two flights of stairs to go wash a dish? That don't even make any sense. Okay. Good night, Angelica. Okay, so I got an alert that rent is due in 24 hours before there's an issue. It's like, okay, I'll, I'm just paying rent for the first time. Like, can you relax? Okay, so I queued up her making some nectar. I know she's hungry, but let's make some nectar to start the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's a quake zone. We're good, we're good, it's fine. Okay, also, I keep having this issue where I, <laughs> I don't know, do I have the door backwards or something? Because they keep coming in. Yeah, I guess I do. They keep coming into my apartment and then knocking from the inside, which is like, okay, I might as well talk to him now. I know you've already walked into my place <laughs> and you're waiting for me to answer, but she, she's about to be done. Oh my gosh. I think Sinclair has fleas. Oh, Sinclair. Dang it, we gotta take her to the vet. Okay, so we avoided eviction. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Let's pay the fine. Pay the fine for no pet. Okay, he's petting my pet, which means I think we can convince him to change that rule. So we're gonna pay the fine first. Look at him, he's pissed. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm paying, I'm paying. Now, what I wanna do is just say, hey, let's, let's talk about this. Maybe we don't need to have a no pets rule. Let's talk to him. I've had this pet the whole time, please. What do you say? Worth a try. What? He said no. Come on. Let's try one more time. Can we, is it too late to try again? So while I'm here, let's just, let's change the door because I didn't realize that it had a specific direction it needed to be in when I put, when I put that there. So that's really funny. Okay, so he is not having it. Um, maybe we're not good enough friends. Let me tell you a funny story. I'm a funny gal. And let's talk about cooking. Do you like to cook? Your last name is Pancakes. I mean, there's no reason for him to say no. We're pretty good friends. We're friendly enough at, for, you know, landlords considering. I'm gonna try one more time. Matter of fact, let's hit him with the worst puns imaginable. No, 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 wait, don't go anywhere. Ah! Oh, he's checking out my stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, do that, do that. Dang, he still said no. Uh, okay, all right, we'll 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 come back to that. I can't keep paying $1,000 every time they come and remind, remind themselves that I have a cat, but let's go to a vet clinic. Oh, I know she's sick and probably should go see the vet. Can I change her outfit though before we leave? Let's, uh, let's wear this. I don't know where we have a vet clinic at this point. I'm gonna assume somewhere in here. Yeah, the WAGS vet. I think I've taken her here before. No, I've never taken Sinclair to the vet, actually. Whoa! Okay, it's snowing here. Maybe she'll change on her own. Or you'll just be cold. All right, what's going on here? Where Where is the check-in? Oh, hang out with Chantal? Yeah! <laughs> I know I gotta take Sinclair to the vet, but we can do that in a second. She'll be okay. I got invited to hang out with a friend, so I just, I wanna say yes and go hang out at her house for a second. Oh shoot, I brought my dirty cat with me. Yikes, my bad, my bad friend. Also, Angelica has huge boobs. 
I did not remember doing that. Oh, they just became good friends. And this is Chantal's sister. So let's do a friendly intro. Okay, who is this again? What's her name? Amani. Oh, they got amazing compatibility. Oh my gosh, let me ask you about your career. What do you do, Amani? A bean blender at the Frothy fro Foamer. Okay, let me spout some memes at you. I just acquired the new cringe trait. So Angelica learned that Amani is a food sale. Oh, I think Amani has two jobs. That's fun. Oh my gosh, I have not seen these interactions. This is really funny. Also, can we flirt? Can I flirt with Amani? I'll make a flirtation joke. Let's test the waters. I wonder what Angelica's talking about. Oh, she learned that uh, Amani's loyal. That's interesting information. Okay, Amani is also walking through the walls. What is going on with my Sims? Oh, their apartment is kind of dingy. Sorry about my cat that's covered in fleas. Let's enthuse about mischief. Maybe she's mischievous as well. Okay, so Chantal's my good friend. Amani, her twin sister. I don't know, she might be, you know. Okay, okay, now let's actually take you to the vet clinic. This was fun, but let's pretend that Chantal's house was like on the way. So chill's calling. You have a crush on Joanne Faulkner? So chill, you were supposed to be one of my options. Okay, fine. She's letting us know how she feels about us now. Go for it. Go have your little date with whoever, whoever Faulkner. We got work in an hour. I gotta take my cat to the vet. Okay, so now we're back. I mean, we're arriving for the first time and we're gonna sign her in for curing her sickness. Um, the cat is still outside getting attention from some rando. Who was talking to my cat? Oh, I guess one of the nurses. Oh, Sinclair, cutie. So we're waiting for the vet now. We can also, what is this? Breath, breathtaking miasma from unclean lit litter box. Where is there an unclean litter box in here? I truly have no idea. Okay, this person just texted me saying, hey, I heard you became friends with Bob Pancakes. We're not friends, he's my landlord. I have to be friendly with him, yes. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, wait! <laughs> she went to work. I forgot that she need to go to work. Yep. And the tenant rule violation. Whoa. Okay. She just made four grand. I think she got promoted. So she was promoted to celebrity chef. She will now make an additional 173 simoleons an hour for 451 an hour. I think she's at the top of her career now. Level 10. She's a level 10 chef. All right. No, but seriously, I have interrupted Sinclair's healthcare for the last time. We have got to take this cat to the vet and like get her treated for real. There should be a little interaction where you're fighting with your cat to get her in a carrier. That is the real taking your pets to the vet experience. Okay, so we are at the vet for the third time and I'm hoping the last time. Okay, so now somebody will be examining Sinclair soon. Ugh. And again, with this Meowsma, where is the dirty litter box? I have no clue. Look at all these other animals. Ew, did a cat just throw up? Oh God, I just saw a cat throw up. That's just <laughs> Let's do a cautious introduction. Oh, poor kitty cat. Actually, should we be introducing ourselves to the sick one? Not the sick one, not the sick one, the other one. Oh, I can comfort. Can I pet you? Oh, how cute. She's a little cutie. Okay, but I do have my own cat here who is not well. So what's going on with my cat? Let's go over and comfort Sinclair. Oh, also I just see the vet is cleaning up some of this mess. Are you gonna clean up the throw up too? That would be great actually. Oh look, I think the other vet's cleaning up the throw up. Oh, this is the litter box. Oh my gosh, that is really funny. I barely clean my own litter box at home. I am not cleaning the litter box at the vet. Uh, okay, so what's going on? Who's 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 seeing my girly? All y'all are just, are all of y'all busy with other people? You're just standing around, sir. And you're standing around. Oh, and there's more cat vomit. All right, Sinclair, come on. We gotta get you better and then we gotta go home because it's gross in here. Also, who's this? Robin, let's do an enchanting introduction. I am on the hunt. I have got to find my next boo thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I did an enchanting introduction, which I don't think I've ever done before. Ooh, that kind of did something. Ask about taste and decor. I don't even know if I care about that. Let's make a flirtatious joke. And then I gotta go check on my cat. Where's Sinclair go? <gasps> Sinclair! Oh, okay. So we can either do basic treatment or expensive treatment. We are <laughs> rolling in the bank. We just got a promotion. So we are gonna give the girl the best treatment ever. Also, can we talk about how they did not clean this room before Sinclair was seen? I feel like that's totally unacceptable. This place is so gross. I've got this cat that's on the counter, possibly throwing up on the counters. Look at this. This is so gross. Oh my God, Sinclair. <gasps> no, Sinclair's looking the vomit. Sinclair, please stop, please stop. Please stop. 
stop. Do not drink other cat's gross vomit. Oh my God, that's so gross. Where are you going, Angelica? No, there are worse problems than you taking a shower right now. Oh my God, I'm going home. We're going home. That was so gross. Oh my gosh, every time we come home, we get the tenant rule violation. I have got to figure that out. Okay, so let's go up here. Matter of fact, let's fill her bowl. And then is that all that's really wrong with Angelica? It's two in the morning. She really should go to sleep, but maybe she'll come up here. She'll feed the cat and then clean up her litter box, please. Oh my gosh, the property owner's here again. Okay, so Eliza's here. So Eliza, let's, let's invite Eliza in. Oh, notice how she's on the outside of the apartment now, which is good. That means the door, turning around the door worked. <laughs> oh my God, Angelica's been evicted. Angelica has been caught not following the rental property rules. The property owner is fed up and ready to kick her out. Unless Angelica convinces the property owner to give her another chance to stay, an eviction is imminent. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. I thought it would be funny to have the no pets rule, but she still had a pet. I was not trying to actually get evicted. Oh my God. Okay, what's the most... What's the, let's do a cheerful introduction, first of all. We don't even really know you for real. So let's let's start there. And now let's convince this woman not to evict us. I know that I smell and that I am not really a shining example of a good tenant right now. But I promise you that I can be a good tenant. Okay, so she's not very nice, which nobody is surprised by. But let's just plead to stay. It's three in the morning. Why are you here doing this? What just happened? Did she say no? <laughs> no, no. First of all, pay rent. And then Turkey. rental. So I'm gonna intimidate to stay. <laughs> okay, so she just smacked me across the face. We're gonna try to intimidate her again. Let's see. And Angelica's not very intimidating. She's literally a goofball, but I can't be kicked out of this place that I built for her. Oh, and now the cat's gonna come take a big old dump while I'm trying to beg to keep my place. Oh my God, the cat is the reason why we're getting kicked out. How do I convince this person to let me stay when they are so bent, like hell bent on kicking me out. Okay, so first of all, here's what I'm gonna do. Just in case I get kicked out, I have got to make sure I just redid, I just redid the damn. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm just gonna add all her pictures in here, just in case, because I was not planning on getting kicked out today. I just wasn't, I wasn't planning on that. I, I thought we would have a little ha 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 moment but not like a, I need to be concerned. Oh yeah, let me keep my yoga mat. That's like integral to her personality. Time's up. This household has fully been evicted and must now move to another location. Ah! <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. She can't move in with her sister. There's no room. Can I just move it in here? <laughs> I found a way to beat the system. She is back in her place that I just furnished for her. Now here's the thing, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna get through the night and then we have a better relationship with Bob Pancakes. So tomorrow we're going to talk to Bob Pancakes, okay? And we're gonna convince him to change that rule because I cannot deal with the stress of being kicked out of my place again. She She's hungry, she's tired, and she still smells. Y'all, I am just, my heart is still racing. This has been so stressful for me, truly. Can we call over the property owner to visit? Like, how does that work? Yeah, we'll call the property owner to visit. Oh, shoot. I don't wanna just call the property over. I wanna call over Bob Pancake specifically. Is it gonna let me choose? Yes. Okay, Bob. It looks like we have terrible compatibility with both of them, which I think makes things harder. Okay, so Bob's gonna come over. It says that he's coming to discuss violations of the tenant agreement. And I am saying that like, I think that we should redefine what violations means. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk, Bob. Your wife came over last night when I was supposed to be sleeping. It says eviction avoided, which is great. That was music to my ears. Pay the fine. That's what we'll, that's what we'll do. Okay, so she has paid that fine now. That's another thousand dollars down the toilet. But we are going to discuss a rule change. Let's do a rule change for no pets. Let's, can we do that, Bob? Can you be amenable to that? I had this cat before you bought the building. Oh my gosh, I think he said yes. Okay, so it looks like officially that has been changed. Is there a way for me to check my tenant agreement? I don't, I don't think so, huh? 
It would be nice for me to check my tenant agreement because there's just some things. I took all my pictures out. Let me put some of these back. I don't even know where all these were. I know this one was here. I don't know. I don't remember which photo was where, but right now I'm just happy to be back in this apartment. Um, Bob Pancakes is still here. Uh, can I send you home now? You need to leave. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be charged slash kicked out for having a cat. I was here first. She didn't get any sleep last night either. Okay, so she's gonna go to bed. Oh shoot, no, wait, what? We didn't pay our bills? Oh my God, this is a nightmare. Why is so chill calling? Her date with Joanne Faulkner went very well. Well, you know what? Since you clearly have moved on to other people, I'm gonna invite you over and essentially say, I just wanna be friends, okay? $12 in water bills, that's really what you guys are getting me for right now. I, I got evicted last night. And not another damn welcome wagon showing up because they think I just got here. I did not. It said the welcome wagon started. They're welcoming me back into my apartment. I can't deal with them right now. Okay, so my girl's paid her bills, thank goodness. And it's time for you to get some leftovers. I think she's done with work for the next few days. Uh, okay, I told her to grab a serving of some food. Somebody cooked some chili, so she's going to eat that. Oh, Elena, I, one of our neighbors cooked it. Okay, I guess that's fine. Just eat random food that's been left out essentially all night. That's, that's a move for a celebrity chef. This is supposed to be about her making money through being the queen of nectar. And yet, it's been about everything else. Oh, who's Alice? Oh, Alice! She has a crush on me! Of course! Oh yeah, Alice is the one that we went out with last time. Guys, this is going, this is great. Alice, yes, Alice! Who we have good compatibility with. But we also met Amani, who we have amazing compatibility with. Oh, and so chill. Invite to hang out at Current Lock. Come on, how about you come over here, so chill? Because honestly, we need to have a, we need to have a talk. You wanna just be friends? That's totally fine. I wish you would have let me know before you called me over with that nonsense. Let's invite her in. And now let's do a little, how do I just say I wanna be friends? Okay, I don't see the whole let's just be friends thing. So I'm just gonna send her home because I really don't want her over here. I just was gonna tell her that, you know, we shouldn't date anymore, but maybe, Maybe we, I already did that at one point or something. I don't know. So I think the last thing that I'm going to do is maybe we can call um, Imani and like we can have like a little date. We can ask on a date. Oh shoot. Should we go on a date with Imani or Alice? Oh, we have a way better situation happening with Imani. So I'm going to we'll go with Imani first. Okay. So I'm assuming she said yes. So we're going to just do it at home. I know it's not the classiest thing, but just... Come over here. We can discuss interests, do a deep combo, maybe flirt a little. Oh, she's a vegetarian. That's good to know. Cause I was about to cook something that was not gonna be vegetarian. Okay, so let's cook together. Let's do something vegetarian. But let's make some garlic noodles. It doesn't look like she's cooking with us. Okay, well, maybe you can tell a joke about aliens. Can you talk and cook? Yeah, looks like it. Great. Okay, so she is cooking and Amani didn't help with anything. I also need to have them both be flirty at the same time. Oh, she is helping. She whipped out a bowl of dough. Okay, great. So they cook together. That's nice. So let's grab a serving together. We're not gonna sit together? Maybe we can sit outside. Let's sit outside together. Quickly, before you guys finish eating. Thank y'all. Angelica took a big old bite of her noodles, not even talking to her date. So now they're sitting outside together, having a little romantic moment on the balcony. Yeah, tell worst puns imaginable. She can deal with you being cringe since that's your new personality. I think she might be the one. The cat is sad, probably because she's begging for food, which I need to lecture her about again. Let's keep flirting. Let's do a pickup line. Let's ask a risque question. Oh, Sinclair learned not to beg for food. Great. Neither of them are flirty though. Well, they're kind of, they're kind of getting into a, a little bit of a flirty oh groove. God. I can ask you about your romantic oh, interest maybe. Flirty. Oh, she's feeling flirty. It's Angelica that's still feeling more playful than anything. Okay, so Amani is attracted to women. <laughs> Let's do a confess attraction. Do I have to get up to do that or can you do that from your seat? They're having a steamy exchange, but Angelica is feeling more inspired than she is flirty. Oh, should they kiss? Please go well. If this kiss goes well, I think there's potential for this relationship. Oh, how cute! Angelica is still not feeling flirty. She's still feeling inspired. I don't know. 
know, mommy seems to be down to clown. So let's just ask her. She's down, she's into it. Angelica is still not flirty. This date is gonna be considered mid. Now she's feeling very inspired. Angelica, come on, get with it. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know. Amani is definitely the one, I guess. And Angelica refuses to be flirty. So can I just at least tell you a story before the date ends? She's gonna think the date is dumb and I won't even blame her. Okay, well, she told a story and it didn't work. And she won't be flirty because she's insane and insists on being inspired. Oh, we had a legendary date. Okay, no, that's fine. That's what I was mostly concerned about. I'm like, I don't want her to think the date is dumb. Okay, so she's gonna leave. She'll be like, thanks for the great date. Why don't you do a little caress? Leave her wanting more. Ooh. And she's gone. Well, that's it for me, folks. I am so glad that Angelica went on an excellent date, especially after the ordeal that was getting evicted. But we learned a trick today that if you get evicted, you can just move right back in, baby. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, you like this video, and you turn on the post notifications so you know when I post my next video. Anyway, I will see y'all next time. Have fun playing Sims. Dag, dag.